So we are a literary magazine. I think one of the uh, few literary magazines that we have on campus that isn't uh, basically like funded through uh, a wider set. So uh, Lock Norse specifically is NKU based. It is uh, getting published specifically through an NKU based publishing system. So we do um, open mics probably the middle of the month. And what we normally uh, try to do is have people read about three pages of their work. Um, we also have a little art segment so that people who do have visual arts, they can come and display their visual arts and uh, give us kind of like uh, cues about what they do. And we don't exactly offer prizes. It's just a time for us to all get together and read each other's work. We exceeded their capacity. Uh, to the point where we were actually a fire hazard. I believe the capacity was about 50 people, and every time we had an open mic, we'd bring in like 70, 80 people, like no problem at all. So it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, the staff was a bit uh, overworked, and we felt really bad about that, but you know, we just, we didn't have another place that we could use. Uh, and then finally, they were just like, okay, we can't, we can't have you guys do this. We are at the uh, Fort Thomas Antiques and Design Center, the Highlander Coffee House, and of course my favorite corner, the Highlander Bourbon and Wine Bar. And then just on the other side of the building over here, we opened the Highlander Event Center in the middle of last year, in late June. Uh, Tammy Viox is the event manager, and uh, one of the professors who's involved with the Open Mic Night reached out to Tammy about having Open Mic Night in the Event Center. And so I think this event is going to just take off. I think it'll be one of the uh, events that people look forward to each month. And we're going to be starting open mics February 19th. And we'll probably be staying within the realm of like the 15th through the 19th for most of the next couple of semesters.